hello guys welcome to jd tutorials in this video we will learn how to create a azure service principle using powershell so let's get started first of all we will need azure cli so you can download the azure cli from here i'll be giving this link in the description so based on your operating system you can download the azure cli once you have come downloaded this cli open your powershell and type az version az is uh, abbreviation for azure So if the CLI has been successfully downloaded, you will be seeing the version of the Azure CLI after giving this command. So currently the version it is showing me is 2.7.0. Fine. Yeah. So now we will log in into our Azure account. So for that we will need AZ login. So it will open a browser window where we'll have to give our login credential and uh, it will log in over here by providing you all the information such as the uh, tenant ID, subscription ID and uh, what type of subscription you have. So let's just uh, give this command az login. Now it is asking me to sign in. I'll sign in using my account and it is telling me that you have been successfully logged in or you can close this window and otherwise uh, or we'll redirect you to Azure CLI documentation. Yeah. So if you go back to your PowerShell, so see it has given me all this information, cloud name, tenant ID, subscription ID and what type of subscription I have yeah now we'll set our subscription before creating our service principle so I have uh, written all these commands I'll be giving all this command in the description so let me set my command let me set my subscription ID and uh, i'll be giving subscription id from the res previous from my previous response yeah next we'll create our service principle so this is the command az adsp create for rbac and uh, uh, name of the service principle I'll give the name of service principle JD service principle and enter It has started creating. This will provide me the service principle details such as client ID, that is application ID, tenant ID, and uh, client secret. See, it has provided me application ID and the name of my service principle as display name and the url so if you go to the azure portal you will see the redirect url will be this one and uh, password is my client secret and tenant id yeah so now let's go to the azure portal and see see it over there So how to check it Azure, go to Azure Active Directory, under App Registrations, you will see at the last, 
since it is at the last I will see that JD service principle when you open it all the details you can find it over here as well client ID tenant ID yeah and uh, client secret will be present in certificates and secrets and the down below since it is it is in it is hidden because we have been provided with a client secret in the uh, powershell itself okay yeah thank you all